In this review, we're going to be looking at the new retro cart series Kingpin Wilson Fisk. It's a basically a recolor, slight retool of the build a figure uh, from a couple years back. And uh, this thing's on a monstrous card. So much bigger than the standard retro series cards. It just dwarfs the regular cards. I love these oversized packaging. It's. You know, Kind of makes you feel like a kid again when they eat, they're so big. On the back, we can see some other figures from the recent releases in the Retro Card series. That's Spider Man, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, Daredevil, and Electro. We also have a single line bio for Kingpin and the Wilson Fist ruthlessly rules New York City's underworld of cunning and keen intel intellect. And multiple languages. One thing about these little these retro card series cards is like they look so nice it's kind of hard to decide to open them. But uh, uh, Amazon helped me decide it because I got a little, a little crunch packaging in the lower corner. But I'm still going to save the packaging. One thing I've learned to, to do with these retro card figures: if you cut a slit on each side and across the bottom, you can make a little trap door where you can slide your figures out, slide the tray out. And put the packaging back in, figure back in if you ever want to store it that way. Try to figure out easy. Set the box to the side. By cutting a little trap door on the bottom of the box, you can actually slide the tray out and save the packaging. Here we got the kingpin freed from his plastic tray. He's a quite robust figure. It's Straight up a repaint of the build a figure with a with the addition of a new collar piece. You got a ascot around his neck instead of a, the necktie, the dress shirt and necktie, and a more classic color scheme of the of the original build a figure here. More of the, the white, black, and purple motif, teeth and on the helm, and you got the. The orange vest, a blue ascot, white jacket, purple pants. A lot of big guys in the Marvels used to rock the purple pants. As in, the, I always liked the, the build a figure. I kind of wish I could have just waited it if I knew they were going to do this. I would prefer this is going into my Spider Man collection. Spider Man display. I'll end up uh, using the parts I got from. Uh, the Xavier Rider series, the Shadow King head, and I got some uh, Caliban fit hands left over from a custom I made. Um, just this will be end up being the Shadow King. The articulation on this figure is a little limited with the suit body and the, his size of the figure. He does have a disc hinge for the neck, but it's limited to do the little bit limited through the size of his neck and head he can look up pretty well and only down a little bit and uh, he's got the diaphragm joint which basically only allows for rotation he doesn't go back and forward too much the arms are on a disc hinge they can go out that far. 360 full around. The elbow, there's no bicep swivel with a, with a suit jacket. He has a hinge and swivel at the uh, elbow. They get the swivel rotation to take place of needing to have a bicep swivel. The hands are on a hinge and swivel. The both of them are in a horizontal hinges. Um, there's no vertical hinge. Kind of like what I, I had a vertical hinge for the cane hand. But uh, the hips are standard ball uh, joint hit hips. They can go forward, back, out. You have a thigh swivel, and uh, you have a hinge and swivel knees. They can get to 
as far as you're going to be able to get with this one, the style knee, and he's got a hinged ankle and rocker. Uh, pivot, whichever you want to call that one. He does have some limitations in his articulation, but for Kingpin, I think it should be sufficient. He's a big guy and big imposing guy, but he's not going to be doing any acrobats with the level of articulation he's got. As with the build figure, you do have an alternate head with the new figure. The screaming face that you got with the build figure, the biggest difference is paint. The screaming head on the new retro line has, very, has the black eyebrows and it looks like he's been in a fight. He's got a black eye and a cut on his cheek. And the screaming head here, this is a non-damaged, he's not been bruised up or anything. Same difference with the, the standard stern heads. The only real difference is the, the eyebrows. You have gray eyebrows on the build -a figure Black, black eyebrows on the Retro Carter one. On the canes, you have a brown cane on the Retro Card and a black cane on the build -a figure Let's do some size comparisons. First up, we have the Spider-Man UK and the Pizza Spidey body with the symbiote Spider-Man. Next up, we have a Bucky Cap and we have a, the Wolf Cap body. Next up we have the Venom on the Hyperion body and the PS3 Spider-Man on the Sunspot body. Next we have Kingpin next to the 80th Anniversary Hulk and the Target 3-pack Miss Marvel. Here I did a little uh, part swapping on the build -a figure part and put the Shadow King head that came with Charles Xavier and I put a set of Caliban hands on them. And we have, I think that looks pretty good. So I have a new Kingpin for my Spider-Man uh, villain shelf and Shadow King will be going on my X-Men villain shelf. This is an absolutely fantastic figure. I love the build, build a figure and I love the new color scheme, the retro color scheme even more. This is Kingpin to me. I absolutely love this figure. I cannot wait to put him back in my display. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time.